the total population of Nepal is 26 million. 80% of the population is Hindu. 9% is Buddhist. 9. Yeah. And rest, Christians and Muslims. The population of Kathmandu Valley is 3 million, including the all three cities in the valley, Kathmandu, Bhaktapur and Pada. 3 million in Kathmandu Valley. In Nepal and Bhutan, the biggest part of our economy, what we think is the hydropower. Now the Bhutanese, they are developing big dams and they are making hydropowers and selling electricity to India. Nepal, we also have the same like option, but the political situation in Nepal is very, very instable. Because of the Maoist and they are not ruling the country properly, so the foreigners, they don't want to invest in Nepal because of the instability of Nepal. Whereas Bhutan is a quite peaceful country, so they are developing big hydropower and they are selling electricity to India. And Bhutan was considered one of the poorest countries 20 years back. But now their GDP is $2,000 per year. Nepal, I think $1,000 per year, our GDP. An agricultural country, not an industrial like China and India, 75% of the population, they live in the villages, up in the mountains. The public education here is free, but not compulsory. The literacy rate of the country is around 60, 65%. So we are stopping here because the road is narrow and bus cannot go to the monument site. So from here we are stopping here and we will be crossing that local market. So it takes us around 10 to 12 minutes to reach the main square.
morning to evening meal. To eat in the evening is busy and fast by everything they sell here. Spinach. Or pasta. Chicken, how they sell chicken locally here. Yeah. The small chicken market. The live chicken, the live chicken is 350 rupees a kilo. 350 rupees, roughly two dollars a kilo. Utensils that we use. Yeah, cast iron. Yeah. yeah. Excuse me. These are the utensils traditionally used in our country to cook curry, to make rice. These are the typical iron utensils that we use in our daily life. Oh. Utensils. Is is this for bread? Okay. This is for bread. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is for bread. Okay. What are the plant things? There? Yeah. This is no, to the, chop the, the vegetables. Uh -huh. We're chopping the vegetables. We take and take a potato, chop like this. Oh, okay. Traditionally, the women in the at home they put it like this. They take the vegetable, huh. go and chop it. Okay. This is a very traditional utensil to chop the vegetables here in Nepal. It's called chulesi. To work in the field. These little jars are used to store water at home. No, These these metal jars they use to store water at home. These are the typical metal jars. We use water. We store water at home. Traditionally, people used to go to bring water to fetch the water from the from the well, in these jars. Another important thing here, when we marry, we use red color. The bride wear these shoes. The shoes here you see, these typical shoes, the brides they wear during the marriage ceremony.
of putting lines as a protected deity in each palace or each temple. They, we believe that normally they protect the temple premises or palace premises. That's a Bokharo interesting. Yeah. Every year they perform a sacrifice ceremony inside the royal courtyard and after the sacrifice they hang the buffalo intestine for around one year. It is dry, quite dry. Yeah. Looks no, like right. a sausage. <laughs> <laughs> we are here in the main royal courtyard of the palace of Patan. This used to be an important courtyard where we receive temples. And in front you see a temple. It is the temple of the goddess of energy and power. For that particular goddess, we have to sacrifice animals. We have to sacrifice animals. And during the festival in October, we celebrate a big festival. That festival celebrates uh, like a mythical, to remember a mythical war between the goddess and a demon, which lasted nine days. For that's why, for nine days, we celebrate the festival called the sun. During the festival, on the ninth day, a sacrifice ceremony is done here. The animals are tied here 
in this wood, normally a buffalo. And there is an expert who comes here with a long sword and one shot, he chopped the head off from the buffalo and they offer the blood inside the temple. And the head of the buffalo is taken inside, which is a kind of offering. And these two statues here, probably you have seen the Ganges in Varanasi, the Yamuna behind Tarko. Here you see the statue of the same those two holy rivers. This was the place where the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra of Vienna played here Ooh. in this courtyard. And in front you see a temple of God Vishnu. I think Dinis had told you about three principal gods in Hinduism, the Shiva, the protector, uh -huh. the Vishnu is the caretaker, and Brahma is the creator. In front you see the temple of God Vishnu. It used to be Vishnu. So after the inauguration, the Philharmonic Orchestra, they came here, we had a nice ceremony, and we opened up the palace for the public. So our courtyards are like this. Every palace used to have different courtyards for the king, for the queens.
At the Hyatt Regency here in Kathmandu, Kathmandu, Nepal. Thank you. 
not fasten your seatbelt until the aircraft comes to a complete stop. The outside temperature is 22 degrees Celsius. Please check all your belongings before the working the aircraft. Please feel free to contact our ground staff regarding any inquiries for the flight information of Yeti and Tara Air. We hope that you have enjoyed this flight with us and we look forward to seeing you again. Thank you for flying with Yeti Airlines. Famous for 100 rhinos. We have around 100 tigers living in this national park, around 500 rhinos. So you don't have to carry your big bag, okay? You can carry your bring as a reception. So I'll request you please come with me to the dining area at the reception. So the dining area and reception is the same area. Okay. And we'll bring all the bags there and then we'll give you the good numbers. So first I think we all will be ready to eat. The lunch is almost ready. at the Jungle Lodge. This is my room.
Namaste. Namaste. And uh, may I have your attention, please? And first of all, this elephant also going to say you Namaste. No, <laughs> elephant will Namaste. greet you now. Namaste. Greet you, yes. Oh. Namaste. Namaste. Oh. 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 Thank you, Namaste. Namaste. And first, I'm going to introduce about this elephant. Her name is a Jaya Mati Kali. Jaya Mati Kali. She's a female and her name is Jaya Mati Kali. Agat. See, Agat means go Agat. forward. Agat. Go forward. Agat. Pichu. Pichat. Pichu. Pichat. Pichu means or pichu? backward. Or pichu? Back. Or pichu? Or pichu? So, Utha means pick up. Utha means pick up. Utha? Utha? Or pan? That's why you know, elephant is very, very intelligent animal. Okay. I'll give it, you see. Oh, I'll take that. Thank you very much. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum. How about a coffee every day? Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, now I'm happy. Yeah. Trunk, trunk is ex, yeah, extremely powerful organ. This trunk made of 40,000 muscles. Yeah, you can do yes. it. Yeah. This is very friendly. Can I touch her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sure. He wants to go. Go back. Uh, don't show it off. She got her treat. <laughs> she's done. Are these the you can't leave, you know? aren't you? <laughs> I was like, are these the elephants have in the Asian elephant have average weight five ton, but African six ton weight. So this is the differences between Asian and African elephants. Then we have five ox cart. No, I don't have any trees, honey. No, nothing. We have five ox cart, then five person in one ox cart. Five in one. Five in one, yes. Five in one, yes. Okay, let me see. Five and one. Two and one. Two and one. No, you're fine. I'm fine. Okay, everybody ready? Let's go up there. Hey, kids. Hey, kids. Over here. Got a pen here. Pencil. Hey, call him. Call him. Look back, Ed and Harry. One, hey, two, you, you forgot to give her them. Okay. She means something. Okay. She didn't get something. Okay. 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 Whoops. Look around, let you open that. Thank <laughs> you. 
ってるよ Can you imagine these kids going to school and, and, and how and they wore a little uniform with a tie on? Was that something? <laughs> Mandus, they have a little formality when the children go to school. They wear a uniform. Yeah, they have to. Uh, there's a 
two ladies there, uh, they wear their own uniform. Wow. They are greeting us. Oh. I mean, they are welcoming to us. Wow. Welcome to visit this Haru village. And uh, this, those two ladies, they want to put red tikka on your forehead. Red mark on the forehead. Yeah. And one lady will give you one flower. So I hope you accept their red tikka and flower. <coughs> and sit for a while there. Small welcoming ceremony. Yeah. And sit for a while there. And I will explain about this whole village, their religion and culture. After that, when we walk around this village. Okay? Okay. They have ears, 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 Oh, and you mean with these village people? Or with, these, with these village people. So even when um, when I was like like this, I had like yes, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Mm. So this is the Taru village. In Nepal, there are so many many Taru villages. Taru. Yeah, Taru. T S A R U Taru. See, look at there. Taru village. Oh. In Nepal, here are so many, many Tharu villages. And those Tharu people, they live in a joint community and together. But I'm going to show you this village. The name of village is called Bankatta. Bankatta. Of all the ethnic groups, that from the Nepalese nationality, the Taru are one. Though they are one of the most primitive race inhabiting Nepal. Nothing can be said with historical accuracy as regard their origin. Their origin is still obscure. <laughs> I think Thank <laughs> you. 
No, I, that's pretty bad. I walked in one of those at the, uh, in, uh, someplace. What is there a, uh, uh, Nazi? Yes. Vera Nazi. Vera Nazi. They don't ask for more. No, they're satisfied. Satisfied. And appreciative. Yes. <laughs> Although there's a bunch of boys playing at me when I gave them each one. The minute I handed one out, I had five hands right there. Their hands open. Oh. Hey, you got a job here? You all done playing? You done yet? You done playing? Are you done? <laughs> Bye bye. I would talk to her. Yeah. Oh, that's right. They were over there. Nine yeah. Years old. Yeah, nine years old. I know. Yeah. The the Thiru people. Yeah. What's their population? I think about six seven. This is Pulod. It's coming. This is this is Pulod. Yeah. They come. Yeah. Oh, 
Yeah, like in Taiwan, you know, they have oh. a beetle nut, you know, you know, where people would chew it. Do you think, uh, do you think, uh, 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 PM, uh, also, uh, chewing beetle nut? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I don't think, yeah, I think he chews something, but it's not, but I don't think it's a uh, beetle nut. I think beetle nut is something that they use in Taiwan. Well, you know, it's too. Oh, they do? Bye. Namaste. Oh, yes. Yeah, Good boy. Uh huh? Uh-huh. 
Bye. 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 people represent about 5%. percent yeah. Yeah, 5%. Five maybe 6%. Yeah. Religion, Hindu yeah. and Buddhist. Oh, Hindu and Buddhist. Yes. How much Buddhist? 9%. 9%. 9%. And so that, uh, how much uh, Hindu? First of all, Namaste and good evening everybody. Namaste. Beside our other wildlife activities, the highlight of tonight is to present you a small ethnic dance called the Taru Cultural Dance. They're ugly animals. Yeah, very ugly animals. <laughs> this, what this, animal is that? Jack, jackal. Oh. Just, yeah, just down the river, along the river bank. Yes, real jackal. <laughs> <laughs> we have here a lot of
You know, I think he's the only dog in the whole place. Yeah. The village I've seen. Any dogs in the village? Yeah. Did you see any dogs in the village? No. Yeah. You know, there's one place. Yeah. 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 They're not here yet? I don't know, there's about three, four more people in there. I'll show you how to sit. I'll show you how to sit. Yeah, I'll show you this from here. And you sit right, left hand side, left. Whoever wants to be with us is fine. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't care to have a break. We ain't exclusive. Are you trying to crowd Hi, Tim. Hello. <laughs> Are you comfy up there? Not as comfortable as it is in your house. <laughs> you haven't been to my house. <laughs> I hope you don't have an elephant. <laughs> Not lately. Well, here comes another girl. Oh, my gosh. Oh. 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 Oh my, can you see that? Where? Well, you said right straight through oh, there, the rhino. Whoa. He doesn't get mad at it, does he? Oh, who would have ever thought we'd be going through the water? There's the rhino. Straight yep. Oh. There's a rhino. I think you can get pretty close, Patty. Well, I'm going to my camera. I'm so disappointed. Oh. I'm surprised you get this close. <laughs> Did you get a picture, Patty? Yep. Huh? Yep. That's the first to use our flashes, aren't we? Oh, dear. Uh, you might get mad at us and charge us. Is it supposed to be balanced? Balanced? Yeah. Like this? Yeah, uh, you look more good for us. Like this? Yeah, you can go for us, you yeah. Oh, like this, you up like this. Oh, I thought I was bumping into you. Yeah. Closest.
Who uh, who would have ever thought we'd be in in there? Uh, I know. I don't think we're gonna see any of this. But in a way, it's kind of new. You see something? I didn't even yeah. see that one. Right. Yeah. Sandra, where are you going, Sandra? No place right now. Hello, Wally. Hey, ladies. Hello. You're a motor to Tani Alpha. We're rocking and rolling. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been able to focus. Uh -uh. Hard enough to put you in there. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they were fine. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's some yes. uh, antelope. Yeah. Antelope or deer. Straight ahead or, or straight ahead. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's, is there another? No, that's a tree. Forward. Right here, tackle? Linda. Yeah, right here in front. Mm -hmm. There it goes. Oh, they're yes. different than the ones in they Africa. They look a little like Haiti. Yeah, they're different than the ones in. Hello oh, there. Yeah, they look more like a, like a hyena. Yeah. Hello there, little jackal. Yeah. Oh, there's deer. <clears throat> Those are deer. They've got the no, spots on them. Aren't they pretty? <laughs> oh, here's another rhino. No, same the one. Same one. The little tiny ones are the big thick. Mm -hmm. A birdie. A birdie. But maybe this afternoon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at here. Oh, here he comes. Here comes the rhino right on my side. Yeah, we we're following him. Now he's following us. Another one more time over there. Oh, another one. Yeah. Oh, you good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Two rhinos. They're going to go meet. Yeah. Uh-oh. What's he doing?
What's that? Rhino, other rhinos rhino behind us. There's three of them now? Two. There's yeah. one back yeah. here. Yeah. There's one there. Two. I wonder what goes after the rhinos. Tigers. Oh, look. They're having breakfast. I'm going to be famous. Look at that. Uh. Yeah, yeah, that's the best. Wow. How late and Yeah. Oh my. His, that's his territory. Don't you get over there. That's mine. It's a oh, what? Chapel tree. With uh, black people mm -hmm. instead of the Polynesian. Polynesian. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was. Oh, no, we go back. Oh, that was wonderful. No, yeah, it was pretty big. Oh, we're back. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> Oh, that was wonderful. Very different. I think it's a Yeah. Well, we saw all kinds of animals. Four or three of them. <laughs> but they, really, I, I couldn't see if I saw anything. It was just sitting out mm -hmm. in the jungle and the mist and riding the mountain, mm -hmm. going through that water. Who? Oh. Come on, show us your stuff. Come on, Marina, show us your stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good girl. If, she, if she's having a hard time, oh. I'm going to have a hard time. Just enjoy the rest of your trip, Kate. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out. <laughs> this is going to be gonna interesting do. getting <laughs> out. How do you spell? Ruddy Selda. Yeah, Ruddy. Ruddy? Ruddy. Ruddy Selda. Ruddy Selda. What's the S? 
Siberia. I knew they had some birds from Siberia. Yes. Are they doing their laundry here? Or? Uh, yeah. 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 But, uh, she walked her own floor. She's You see this plant huh? in the river? Yeah. That is the favorite plant of the rhino. Oh, which one is that? Inside algae, you see? Oh, huh? the algae. Algae, yeah. 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 And sometimes the rhino, it crosses the river and comes here. Yeah. This is this is buffer zone. So villagers they have made an electric fence so that the animals cannot enter into their field. But we have frequent power cuts. And the rhinos yeah. they are very clever and they know what time is the power cut. Because, because sometimes they come and they just investigate and there is electric cuts. And they know the what time is the power cut, so they sneak in that time. That's the snail you were yeah. talking Some about. Some people they have been killed by the rhino because they were just... Yeah, snail. The snail that, that he was talking about. They were just walking about. here from yes. the rhino. Is that what they used to do? Without butter and garlic, it'll be good. But the one you first saw was very good. That's how we eat the Chinese restaurant, right? Snail. 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 Thank you. They're working. They're made from a single log of a tree. Oh, These are dugouts. Just, what about long. spiders? I don't Just know. Just little ones. This is all for them in the monsoon. Then this grows up and then yeah. it, it yeah. dies under yeah. the water and then yeah. monsoon and then it comes up again. In monsoon it's very hard to cross the river. The people, they cannot cross the river in the monsoon. Oh, impressive. Yeah. Two months? June, July, August. Three months. Right, and there's a high bank there, so it probably pushes more of the water this yeah. way. But then they graze on this. So yeah, the rhino sometimes they come rhinos, out. Do the cows ever come down here? For yeah, the cows also. Okay, yeah. It looks like a good cow. What's that's open built store. That is a store. Uh, that's something. Once in a while. Where, where is the open built store? Right in front of you. It's right in front of you. From Siberia. Siberia. Yeah. 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 Rhinos? Yeah, rhinos. These are rhinos dung. What is it? It's It's a very common bird during this season. We can spot lots of the Siberian ducks. They can fly very high, even they cross the mountains. Yeah, they're very active. 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 Yeah,
No, this area is, is this is the only national park here in Asia which is guarded by the army. The army has 32 check posts inside and there is shoot at sight order for the illegal post. If they see anybody walking inside the national park with a gun, with a gun, just shoot it without any warning. Uh, this one, I uh, ha Indian heron, I mean Indian pond heron. It's called pond heron. We have, we have, mm. but not in here, inside the park. Oh, it's more likely it's assisted living. In the construction, do they kind of stay away from wood because of termites or is it? Because of termites. It's like Costa Rica, farmers is made. They say that. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. It's to be the highest. You passed. Oh, here, the oil. Arnie, the, Arnie, the lady doing the laundry doesn't mind. Hello. Hello. What happens if they drop the rope? It's gone. <laughs> Bunny line. No bucket. Good job. Bunny line. Good job. Nice to see you. Is that Yeah, big, big snail. Yeah. Big snail. Yeah. I got most of it, it's just a little bit that's left here. But the tap water could have killed me. <laughs> and they make mozzarella out of, oh, out of buffalo milk. Right. I wonder in Nepal if that also. butter that we had this morning was maybe, buffalo maybe. butter. Maybe, salty taste. It was a little different. Yeah. yeah. It was buffalo butter. You're beautiful. It's getting louder. No, this is rice straw. Oh, rice straw. After the rice, rice, the rice straw they use for many purposes to feed their animals.
take it to the trick point. You can't even get compliments to when they said no one has any trouble. <laughs> So in the past, there in the past there are 23 types of crocodiles all over the world. But in Nepal, here are only two species of crocodiles. Okay. That is the gharial and Mars mugger. See, that is the gharial who has the long and thin snout. And Mars mugger crocodile who has a short and broad snout. That crocodile they reach almost six or seven meter long. Their long thin snout are perfect weapon for snapping fish. So look at there, the long thin snout. Mm -hmm. The large breeding males develop end of their snout, bulbous. Looks like you know nose. Mm -hmm. See mm -hmm. bulbous, yes. These guys are cute.
13 degree Celsius. Please check all your belongings before disembarking the aircraft. Please feel free to contact our ground staff regarding any inquiries for flight information on the Adi and Bada Airlines. We hope that you have enjoyed this flight with us and we look forward to seeing you again. Once again, we apologize for this delay departure. Thank you for flying with the Adi Airlines. Coming up through the classes. Uh, till 11th century, the whole valley they used to call Bhaktapur. Katan and Kathmandu, they were separated from the kingdom of Bhaktapur in 13th century. So there are three beautiful squares. So from here we go to the parking first, then we walk around 10 minutes to this the main square. So I will take you to the main square and there is the old royal palace there. We will also see the old royal palace. There are three beautiful squares. We'll see all of them and then we'll come back to the hotel. Alright, so we'll be getting down here. So we'll be in this city for about one, one and a half hour. celebration when the young boys they come to the age of puberty or like when they are eight or nine years old we have to celebrate because they have come to the age of puberty and that day we shave our hands and we have to wear a special dress and there is a celebration so this is that celebration specially and people sacrifice buffaloes and gold and they prepare a feast for that what's happening here. So after the ceremony we come to the temple. The shaving of the head is done from the home. When we see the ceremony, we have to come here. Also in the temple. From that time we make Are here in the city of Bhaktapur. As I told you, it is the oldest existing city in Nepal. Originally, the city was founded in 8th century AD, but the square, this one, it was built 16th century AD. On the left hand side, you see that used to be the old royal palace where the kings once reside here. Those kings they built this square. And you see in front, that is the statue of the king who built the royal palace. The palace is famous for its 55 windows on the left hand side. They say the palace of 55 windows because the king had 55 wives. So he built <laughs> one for each. So that's, that's, that is, that's the palace, that's not the palace. there. Not that. And in front of the palace, they used to build, they were very religious. Like we saw in the city of Patan, they were very religious. They used to build temples always in front of the palace and 95% of the population who reside in this city they are Hindu and the Hindu kings they built this square it's a big bell we say barking bell when they ring the bell it will sound like a dog that is the entrance to the royal palace we see the golden gate it is the entrance to the royal palace. So we are going inside and inside we will see a very nice royal bath. Then we come all belong to the royal palace that time. So we are now inside the royal palace and here in front there is a temple of the royal deity called Taleju, the goddess of energy and power who served as the royal goddess. Queen Mary. Wow. Is that Joachim? This used to be the royal bath. Like outside we see 
in the city of Patan, which is some public water taps. Some yeah. Those were for the public. But the kings, for themselves, they had built a special bath for themselves. So and the water used to fall from that tap. And it used to be a kind of swimming pool. You see the cobra. We believe that the kings are the reincarnation of Lord Vishnu. And Vishnu is always protected by a cobra. So whenever kings used to build something for themselves, they always used to put a statue of cobra. Would it be too cold to take it back here? Did cold or hot water? Yeah, they never used hot water because there was no system of heating. Heat. So it would be heat. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Except in the summer. Except in the summer. It used to be a swimming pool, a kind of small swimming pool. And then those little houses. They used to put the statues there. But you didn't see, don't see any statues there because this small, we are talking about, talking about this small things, no? What a step. On the, top. the little tiny. Ah, these are Secret wall bath will come out and we'll go to the second square. Now after we see the second square, then in the second square you'll have some free time or 20 minutes. We meet in the same square and we come to this place again through a pottery square where they make pottery. Say Taumadi Square, Taumadi. It was built during 18th century. The oldest one we saw there, the first square, 16th century. This was built in 18th century. Here it has two very important temples: the Temple of Goddess of Wealth and the God of Justice. <coughs> Altogether, 
One with one lady on the top of the bus to the bus. And this is an open local market. Early in the morning, the people come here with their stuffs and they sell a lot of informal economy. They don't pay any taxes. They don't pay anything. 
They don't pay any taxes taxes to the government. second stay here at the Hyatt Kathmandu. This time I have a keen size bed rather than the two twins. Two days more of my trip, and then back home on well, early Monday morning. Saturday morning, I woke up at 5.30 for my flight around Mount Everest. But as soon as we uh, got to the airport, they turned us around and told us to go back, as there was no visibility around the mountain, and none of the scenic flights were taking off. was built in 1968 and it served as a royal palace till 19th century. The whole complex. The whole complex. And the white one and this one, this whole, whole complex once was the royal palace and Nepal was ruled from this palace for about 240 years. The white one, it was whole complex. From here we we'll go to that building which is the home of the living goddess that Dinesh told you oh, in the bus. So we, and then we have a walking tour around the, around the square. The whole square was built during 18th century. And after walking tour, we go inside the royal palace. There I will be showing you 
two nice courtyards inside the royal palace and we will be talking about the royal family. Spontaneously, this is not allowed here. When we go inside, outside, we will remain here. But we visit outside the about 10 years ago. We are deciding in this okay. We are going inside and I will let you. I will be. So now we are into the palace of the living goddess. The tradition started in 18th century. The legend says that there was a king in Kathmandu with whom a goddess was very pleased, the goddess of energy and power. And we believe that that means we have to find a reincarnation of the same goddess. And the person who should be reincarnated as a god should be a perfect person. We have to find a perfect. And what is the perfectness for that person? They should have 32 special characteristics. 32. I don't remember all, but some of them are like long black hair, without hair on the body, without scars on the face, big black eyes. One person should be perfect. So they always try to find these perfect girls.
It's a black uniform. Bob, Maybe I could Bobby. Yes, I thought when I looked at them. The one with the black uniform? Yes, as we enter in as there. As we enter, not on your the black left. uniform that's standing there like that. He's in a, he's in camouflage. Okay, so it's not this one. Because Nepal was ruled from 1768 to 2008 from this courtyard. And this was the main royal courtyard where king used to meet the people and the foreign delegates. And you see this decoration. This is because we celebrate spring festival. We are, summer is at, at the end now, and yesterday they have celebrated spring festival. During the spring festival, they decorate this and they just worship. When we had a monarchy, the ceremony of coronation used to take place on that platform. From 1768 to 2008, we had 13 kings. All were crowned on that platform. So after the revolution, the government has confiscated this palace and now it's a kind of open museum. This was the royal throne of Nepal. From 1768 wow. to 2008, this used to be the royal throne. Both king and queen, they used to sit on the throne during the day of coronation on that platform. It is made by pure gold and silver. And kings were crowned on that platform. They used to sit on this throne. <laughs> Oh. Oh, same he as the was the founder. Okay. He unified all these 44 kingdoms and made in 1768 okay. and made capital Kathmandu. And he was the one who built this palace, the complex. Good job. The first king of Nepal who unified the country. Kathmandu. I think you have seen these all in Varanasi. Yeah. When somebody dies, especially in the Hindu, in the religion, they just wrap the dead body, they put the dead body on the bamboo stretcher and they carry the dead body, four people, they carry the dead body to the cremation ground. Right. And then they put, they prepare a funeral pyre here, you see, they are preparing a funeral pyre and they place the dead body before the body is being put onto the pyre, they need to place on the other side and the friend. They come to pay the last respect to the body, to the dead one. They come with some flowers, some colors, sprinkle them onto the dead body, and then they put the dead body on the funeral pyre. If somebody dies, we cremate the dead body on the very same day of the death. Right? Within 24 hours, the body is cremated. This, yeah, this crematorium right is open for 24 hours a day. It connects to the Ganges in, in the river. Not only the ashes, they just take the dead, the dead body should be naked. When they put on the funeral pile, they take the cloths off the dead body. So they just throw. Oh, yeah. That one's just cold. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Both Hindu and Buddhist, they cremate their dead body. You are, you are hearing a sound. If you hear a sound of drums and something, that is a Buddhist funeral ceremony. The Buddhists, they play music. The monks, they come here, they play this kind of special funeral music. That is a Buddhist ceremony. Hindus, they don't play music. They, they just blow a conch shell. Yeah, water. Water or color or something, yeah. Sprinkling water. Yeah. Everything comes into the ashes. So they don't have these kids that take care of the fire. No. They do no, 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 not like that. The family does. Right? Women are allowed to come to the crematorium in Nepal. In India, they're not allowed. In India, there, uh, there are crematoriums according to the caste system, like high caste, and lower daughters, both, 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 and the daughters. In India, women are not allowed to the crematorium, but in Nepal, they are allowed. Women, they can come to the crematorium. So this is the stupa called Bodhanath. 
one of the oldest existing stupa in the world. It was built in 4th century AD. A prince built this stupa to memorize the death of his father. Okay. And it took 12 years to build the stupa. And every 12 years we celebrate a very famous and big Buddhist festival here. All the Buddhists from all over the world, they come to participate in the festival, especially in the morning and evening. The pilgrims, they come here, they encircle around the stupa. The, the eyes of Buddha, we say the Buddha eyes, wherever we go, we feel that he's looking at us. Buddha's eyes. Buddha's eyes, we say. And they paint the stupa with limestone, and that yellow mark you see that they build a lotus flower. And you see the prayer flags on the stupa. The prayers are written on the flag, and every flutter of the wind releases the prayer in the air, so the air is purified. This is a Buddhist belief. And then you can't go, there's nothing to go inside. There is nothing, there is no entrance in. Only the people, they come here, they, they encircle around the stupa to pay the respect. There, there is not, no, no, no any entrance inside. This is the final night of the trip. We'll be going home, well, sort of tomorrow. It's actually not going to be until Monday since the flight doesn't leave until 1.30 a.m. Raining pretty good outside at the moment. No, I don't. I don't want to. I'm taking a picture of her port, though. Yes, right here, and he wants Again? Here we go. Thanks. You'll have to leave down there. And she only said I wanted some so she could drink both. Yeah. <laughs> Namaste. 
got up early again on Sunday morning for another attempt at the Mount Everest flight. We got to the airport, uh, actually got into the waiting lounge. The first Everest flight took off, but then we got reports back from that flight that there was still no visibility, and they turned everybody else around, and I was bitterly disappointed. The thing I was looking forward to most on the entire trip was the flight around Mount Everest, and it never happened. We've got a quiet place to wait. I'll take a picture of the dog. Can you tell what kind of dog is that? I don't know. Mutt? Yeah. <laughs> Must be a mutt or something. I don't think it's a purebred. <laughs> it's a beautiful dog, though. It's a bit of a bath, but you other like, than that, he doesn't look too bad. You like dogs? <laughs> Oh yeah, I've, I've looked and I've been there. 
gentlemen, we will keep you on the vacation card shortly. If you are a tourist, please inform the crew of your nationality. Please ensure that the cards are filled in with a ballpoint pen using block capital. Family and given names, date of birth and nationality should be legible. Incomplete or incorrectly filled out cards will delay arrival formalities. Passengers in transit to points in the United States, Canada and South America must also clear through immigration and customs formalities at O'Hare International Airport. Please collect your check baggage in the arrival hall before proceeding to the customs counter. Thank you. Thank you. 
in the upright position and your seat belts are securely fastened. Also, be sure all items you have used during the flight are securely stored in the overhead bins or underneath the seat in front of you. If you are using any portable electronic devices, please turn them off at this time. Also, the flight attendant will be collecting any remaining service items in the cabin. Thank you. General, welcome to Indianapolis. Local time is approximately 11.35. For your safety and safety of those around you, please remain seated, seat belts fastened until we do arrive at the gate. Once we're at the gate and stop, the captain will turn off the fastened seat belt sign. That will be your indication of safe to unbuckle, get up and collect any belongings you may have brought aboard. As you open the overhead bins, please be careful. Items that are stored there may have shifted during our flight. Also, please use caution while exiting the aircraft as the doorway is slightly lower than the ceiling. If you left your valet or carry-on bags plain side, that's the ones with the red tags on them. Those bags will be available for pickup on the jet bridge here 
in Indianapolis. They will be at the top of the jet bridge, not immediately by the aircraft. If you check your bags in at the ticket counter as you checked in today, those bags will be available for pickup and baggage claim. We do have connecting flights. Check the monitors for the most up-to-date information on your connecting flight. Your check bags will transfer for you. As we're taxiing the gate, cell phones are approved for use. All other electronic equipment should still remain off until we do reach the gate and the seatbelt sign has been turned off. On behalf of your flight crew, I want to thank you for flying with us. certainly has been a pleasure serving you. We look forward to seeing you again in the near future on another American Connection flight operated by Chautauqua Airlines. Enjoy the rest of your day here in Indianapolis or wherever your travel plans might take you. Have a great week and good day.